are you interested in chatting or analyzing or discussing your PDF document with a very free tool? In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a very fantastic AI tool called Google Gemini that is up to chat and write and analyze your document, your PDF document, pretty easy and fast. So to start, let me show you how you can access Gemini. You can go to your search bar anywhere within the search bar and just type in gemini.google.com. As we all know, Gemini is a Google product. It's an AI chatbot, artificial intelligence chatbot that you can chat with just like the way you chat with ChatGPT and so on. So let's go on to gemini.google.com and then we hit on enter and it's going to bring you over to this very platform. Of course, you have to log in. If you don't have an account, you just have to have a Google account. Once you have a Google account, you can just go ahead and log in. And you brought into this very platform. These are sample, these are sample prompts that you can easily use. Okay. Explain how something works like an engineer and then come up with a product name for a new app and so on. These are ideas that you can use. And this is the chat prompting area. And then this is the uh, previous chat or recent chat that I have with this particular AI tool. And then if you want to add a new chat, you can always come here at any given point. So for this time, we want to start by uploading a PDF and reading it from a Google Drive. So let's come over here to send this chat. You have to use the add sign. That's the command. When you put in the add sign, then you see all the applications coming up that you, you can link easily with um, Google Gemini. So you can see them. These are enabled, but these are not enabled. So if you select Google Drive, because our target is to access the file from Drive, you can see that this prompt will not work because the Google Workspace applications have not been enabled on this particular good Gemini. So to enable it, you can come over here, the settings. And once you click on settings, you can come to extensions over here and you'll be able to see the number of extensions that you can enable. And you see Google Workspace, including Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive, they are not all enabled. So you can just enable directly from here. You say connect, and this is going to connect with this, your very account that you have here. So let's go back, come to new chat. And then right now, let's say we open our drive. Uh, drive.google.com and then we have a PDF document sent in. We have this PDF document, uh, it's even 7552. So you can go back over here and then we can go directly and say at Google Drive. You can see at Google Drive and summarize the content of CVN 752 in, in my Google Drive. You can see it is accessing the documents and it's just going to give you the answer pretty fast. Okay, so you can see directly it is saying that CVN 750 is a course on water resources engineering. The course covers these topics, okay, and it's exactly what it is. It has even fetched it out for you directly. And this is the one way you can go ahead and add, ask anything about the course. You can do directly if you're interested. But one of the key ways or the major ways that I like accessing and chatting with my PDF document is uh, to have the drive, the Gemini on Google Drive. So you can come back to the drive, something like this. And once you are in your drive, you can try to access the PDF document and you can see Gemini on drive over here. Okay, so ask Gemini directly on your drive. So this gives us the opportunity. You can ask anything down here. You can summarize the content. This interaction actually is pretty, pretty faster and it's much more accurate. For example, you can see who is the course lecturer. And it's be precisely picked that is Dr. A.S. Abdrashid that is the course lecturer. You see, and it's going to be very, very fast. Okay, so Dr. A.S. Abdrashid is the course lecturer for CVN 752 of Child Resources Engineering. So you can ask other courses, like uh, other specific questions as well, like uh, how many images are in this document? Okay, this is so generic, but you see, it's going to be very precise about the number of, I think there are about six um, images that we have within the document. Okay, so you can see there are six images in this document. Okay, so you can see, you can ask directly specific questions, see more suggestions if you want. What's the different types, uh, what are the different types of spillways mentioned in this document? You can ask directly and you're going to see that it's going to give you the answer pretty fast. All right, so you can see. These are the following types of spillways are uh, mentioned in this document, free overfall spillway and so on. You can see all of them here if you're interested. So this is very, very easy to chat with and you can copy things. You can see sources directly and you can uh, regenerate or retry if the answer is not directly what you are interested in. 
So at any given point, you can close and you can go back to where you are. Now to summarize the PDF document, let's say we open this um, design of irrigation document. You can just double click. And then once you are here, you can come over to the Gemini on drive over here. Ask Gemini so you can see summarize this and tell me what the book is all about. And you can see over here, these are the details of what the book is all about. The summary, complete summary of what this book is all about. Okay, so I think this concludes this tutorial. You can add as many PDF documents to your drive and you can access them very easily with your Gemini directly or you can use the Gemini on drive as soon as you hover over anywhere, you can see it over here. It's everywhere within your Google Workspace applications. So as you click, you can just start asking questions. Even in your emails, you can find it. Okay, so I think this concludes this tutorial about how to use Google Gemini to analyze or read or learn about um, specific information within your PDF documents. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep enjoying videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.